Facebook.com slash RNC. And with more law enforcement losing their lives in the line of duty lately, News 13's Stephanie Bichara shows us how Kissimmee is making it a point to remember its fallen officers, no matter how much time has passed. There's not a day that John Lane doesn't think about his former colleague and roommate, Thomas Bartholomew, who went by Bart. This goes over my head, in my mind, every day. Retired officers and their families gathered at Fat Boy's restaurant on Monday to remember the Kissimmee Police Patrolman. On July 18, 1983, KPD received a call about a domestic disturbance. Lane says he and Bart were going to eat together that night. But Bart never made it back to dinner. So he said, keep the food warm, I'll be right back. Put his food on hold, went back on duty, ran to the scene. And of course, unfortunately, that was the last I've seen of Bartholomew. A man with a gun was holding his wife hostage and Bart tried to pull her to safety. But the man fired, killing Bart and injuring his wife. This is a fellow that was a career-minded law enforcement officer and recently graduated from the SWAT team. Uh, as well as probably the biggest practical joker that I ever knew. This is just one of the ways the Kissimmee Police Department has honored Bart. They dedicated this plaque to him back in 2009. This group meets every year on the same date, but this year they didn't expect to be paying their respects to so many more who have died on the line of duty in the last weeks. In our days, we had the luxury of deciding should we or should we not wear a bulletproof vest that day. Today, it's not an option. In Kissimmee, Stephanie Bichara, News 13.